So you guys, our amazing followers, have been asking for a video like this for so long. And it's time. Does manual therapy actually work? Let's dive in. Hey guys, Khalid here. Welcome back to Clinical Physio. So this has been such a popular request. Does manual therapy actually work? And I really decided that I need to break this down for you guys. And so rather than just doing one video, I'm going to do a whole series on does manual therapy actually work? And in this first part, I'm going to dive into a subject that is really, really critical and actually maybe changes the perspective of how and why manual therapy is so popular for patients and physios. So links for all articles are in the description below. If you want more of this series, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. But for now, let's get clinical. So first of all, I've got a question for you. And guys, don't take this as a rude question. This is a family show after all. So the question is, as humans, do we like to be touched? And of course, for so many people, the answer is yes. We crave human touch. There's so many emotional memory processes that are going on when one person simply touches another. And this first paper I want to show you really highlights this to the max when it comes to manual therapy. So the paper is by Jerry et al. 2019, and it's called Manual Therapy, Exploiting the Role of Human Touch. So to set the scene, manual therapy is almost certainly thought of as a very physical process. We're moving this, we're stretching that, we're compressing this, we're forcing that. Whereas actually, these authors talk about a really important point, that perhaps it's the emotional properties that manual therapy offers by the simple human touch that may actually be what makes our patients feel better. So on that point of manual therapy being a very physical process, I'm going to reference a particular paper that you'll see me use all the time in this series. Link in the description below. Chowdhury et al. 2008. They used a 3D mathematical model to try and work out the amount of force needed to impact on human tissue. I'm going to read you some of their conclusions. So in the case of the tensor fascia lata, the TFL, in the lateral leg, a predicted normal load of 925 kilos was needed to produce even a 1% compression or shear force. They also looked at similar things for the plantar fascia of the foot, and they concluded that a massive 852 kilos was needed to produce even a 1% compression or shear force. So over 850 kilos using these little things, I don't think that's possible. And that's what really interested me about Jerry et al's study, because they openly explore the fact that it could be the emotional factors rather than the physical factors that really make the difference with manual therapy. So actually, that 825 kilos may not actually matter anyway. They talk about that perhaps manual therapy is more like a communication process, sympathetic contact, as they describe, from the physio to the patient. And I totally understand that. If we use our hands in a very caring, sympathetic nature, perhaps that really stimulates those cognitive psychological processes for the patient that actually makes the difference. So as well as that communication process, they also talk about manual therapy in the context of analgesic modulation, which basically means controlling or influencing pain through touch. Now, the most common example of this is when we're walking around and we bang our knee, what do we do? We immediately try and rub it because it gives the brain a different stimulus to think about rather than the pain. And the authors talk about how this may very well be one of the more fundamental ways in which manual therapy works. Once again, rather than the physical pressure, the amount of force, is it the cognitive, psychological, sensory components of manual therapy which really have the bigger effect? Now, here's a story for you. Bit of a confession. Last week, my partner and I both went for a massage and I didn't have any pain. We just did it to try and see if we could feel more relaxed. Did we feel more relaxed? Of course we did. But 
There's an interesting nuance to this. So when the massage started, the masseuse was quite firm with me and it didn't really feel that relaxing at all. Then after a few minutes, she asked me, how's the pressure for you? And I said, actually, I was wondering if you could go a bit lighter. I'm a bit of a softy after all. And after she changed her pressure and was a bit lighter, I felt totally relaxed, so much more so than in the earlier part of the massage. So why is this relevant? Well, think about it in the context of what we've been saying. Physical, firm pressure, not as much of an impact on me. More sympathetic, that sympathetic contact as Jerry et al highlighted. More care, a more relaxing nature to the massage or the manual therapy much bigger difference. And I can imagine, particularly for patients who are in pain, that can also make all the difference. Now, I don't know if this could happen, but it's a study I'd really love to see one day. What if they took a group of patients, all with similar back pain, perhaps, let's say, and for one group, they gave them quite vigorous, quite mechanical manual therapy, the stuff that we think of, thrusting this and manipulating that. And in the other group, they gave them that sympathetic contact, much more reassuring, much more caring approach to the manual therapy. I wonder who would have better outcomes. Maybe it would show us, is it the actual physical nature of manual therapy that has the difference? Or does that more sympathetic, caring nature, that communication process, as Jerry et al highlight to us, that stands up a little bit more. So based on all this, does manual therapy actually work? Well, I suppose it's probably a little bit too early at this stage in the series to be able to come up with a clear definition for that. However, hopefully this video gives you a little bit of a different thing to think about when it comes to manual therapy. That perhaps it is more of a communication process, that sympathetic contact as Jerry et al highlighted. In fact, is that the main thing we should be focusing on whenever physiotherapists do manual therapy? Hmm, I think I'm really going to enjoy this series. So guys, as always, if you've enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to see if you'd like more of these videos, so let us know in the comments below. We've got loads more for you on our Instagram channel, at Clinical Physio, and on our website, clinicalphysio.com. My name's Khalid. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon here on Clinical Physio.